Carl Bradbrook from secretofimagining.com and what I wanted to talk to you now is a really simple little uh, piece of imagining that I do and I've practiced on a regular basis and it's counting cash and I've brought some cash along with me here to give a demonstration. Now this is Indonesian rupee and there's a handful of it. So the idea is that you take one or more of these notes, we'll just take one to start with, and you take the denomination of whatever country you live in, or whatever cash, that, uh, whatever currency you desire to uh, receive, and you study the note. So you study the front of the note, and you study the back of the note, and you study it in detail until you can close your eyes and you can see it in your mind. So then you open your eyes again and you study the note and you see what's on the note, the faces on it, the way the numbers are and you study the other side of the note and close your eyes and you picture it in your mind. And then you open your eyes and you study the note again. And the idea is to keep an, uh, a denomination of note that you want to accumulate with you, with you, uh, and just keep looking at it whenever you feel like looking at the note and studying the note. Now the next step is, even if you don't have a stack of notes, and this is only about seventy or eighty dollars worth of currency here, but even if you don't have a stack of notes, you can just start with one note. Uh, so it might be 50 pounds, or it might be 50 Australian dollars, or it might be 100 euro notes, or it could be 100 Canadian dollars, or Swiss francs, or whatever it is that you want. And you pretend to count them in your mind. So you imagine that you've set a goal for, say, $100 or $1,000. So let's say it's $1,000, and let's say we're counting 100 US dollar notes. So what we do, $1,000 would be 10 100 US dollar notes. So we've studied what a 100 US dollar note looks like, and we close our eyes and we count in our minds. So you just pretend to count, and you count exactly the same way that you would actually count as if you held the money in your hands. So if you hold it in your hands and you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and so on and so forth, that is the way you count in your mind with your eyes closed. So if you've got $100, you might count 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000. And then you put them back in your hand and you count it again. And you do this over and over and over and over and over and over and over again in your mind. And then you let it go. And then perhaps when you're in bed, just before you go to sleep at night, you do the same thing again. And then perhaps the next morning when you wake up, or perhaps on the train on the way to work, or perhaps when you've got five minutes at work, you do the same thing again. And you just keep counting the money. And then at some point, you'll get the intuition to just let it go. And at that point, you let it go. And you forget about it, and you carry on with whatever else it is that you're doing. Now, somewhere along the line, you've shown your unconscious mind what it is that you want to do in physical reality. So you've counted money in your mind and you want to experience that in your physical reality. Now your unconscious mind is going to connect with the universe and it is going to manifest that money. And this has happened to me time and time and time again. Uh, the most I've accumulated in one go was $5,000 or it was 50 million rupee. Now it might come to you as a loan. That actually came to me as a loan which helped me start a business which helped me get more money. I think it was about thirty dollars or $40,000 over time. Or it might come to you as a gift or it might come to you as a work opportunity or it might come to you as a job. However it 
comes to you, you'll be quite surprised when it does come to you. And you can go about it in two different ways. You can actually chase it, which is not the way to do it. So you might be hunting around, how's this thousand dollars going to come to me? How's this thousand dollars going to come to me? That's not the way to do it. You just let it go. And all of a sudden, out of the blue, some way, somehow, somebody sees they're going to give you the money, they're going to ask you to do something, or some opportunity is going to come up and you're going to end up with that money in your hand. So I hope that's been really helpful to you. And no matter what situation you're in in life, if you count the cash in your mind, you're going to end up holding it.